好，第八条啦，就问翻煤嘅活性位置，咁以下边一句描述咧系正確嘅？第一句，煤嘅活性位置可以循环再用，呢句正確嘅，因为咧煤咧进行完成个反应之后咧，佢系保持不变嘅。第二句就话啦，煤嘅活性位置系可以同受质咧系可以 fit 得到对方，黐得埋一齐嘅，呢句咧。都係正確嘅，因為呢句正正就係所約假説啦。而第三句呢，就係、是、煤嘅活性位置，佢嘅形狀呢，係基於氨基酸嘅次序呢所去控制住嘅。呢、这個都係正確嘅，因為呢個呢，正正就係 protein synthesis 去教我哋嘅嘢，基於 DNA 嘅 base sequence。控制住 mRNA 嘅 base sequence， 再控制住蛋白质入面嘅氨基酸嘅次序，从而就控制咗一个蛋白质佢个形状啦。咁所以一二三咧都为正确，所以答案咧就系 D 啦。Question eight asks us to determine which of the following description of the active site of an enzyme is correct. First of all, the active site can be used again. It is correct because the enzyme after the reaction it remains unchanged. So that's why the active site can bind to the substrate again and again. Okay, and the second statement, active site is the part of the enzyme which its substrate can fit. So it's also correct because that's the concept of the lock and key hypothesis. And for the third concept, the shape of the active site is determined by the amino acid sequence of the enzyme. That's the concept from the protein synthesis, transcription, and translation. The base sequence in the DNA and mRNA it can determine the amino acid sequence in protein, and finally it will determine the configuration of the protein molecules and the enzyme molecules. So it will determine the shape of the active site. So that's why the answer is D.